With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello everyone, let's just start the question. Our question says that which of the following structure is correctly matched with the description. First option is septal nephridia and pharyngeal nephridia, both are exonephric. Second option is diflosol helps in grinding the soil particles and decaying leaves. Third is sensory system possesses light and touch receptors and earthworm. And fourth one is gizzard, internal median fold present in the dorsal wall of the intestine of the earthworm. So here, if you are talking about our first option, that is our septal nephridia and second one is the pharyngeal nephridia so these are the types of the nephridia they will help in the excretion and these two nephridia are generally enteronephric in nature they uh, they are not uh, exonephric they are enteronephric in nature enteronephric means that means they will excrete out the wastes in the alimentary canal they do, uh, they do not uh, directly excrete out the wastes in the environment they generally excrete out the wastes in the alimentary canal so this is the wrong option then if you are talking about our second one that is about the tiflosol so here tiflosol are generally present in the they are present as the internal medial fold in the intestine they present in the intestinal part and the major purpose of these tiflosol are the they will help in the increasing surface area of the intestine they generally increase the surface area of the intestine that uh, so can proper digestion and proper absorption can occur so they increase the surface area and if you are talking about uh, one that is a sensory system so in earthworm sensory system uh, of earthworm generally consists of different types of receptors it consists of the taste receptor it have a uh, light receptor as well as it will have the taste receptor as well as it will also have the touch receptors these receptor will present in the sensory system of the earthworm and if we are talking about our fourth one that is the gizzard so here if you are talking about our gizzard so gizzard will be present in the stomach part it will not present in the intestinal part it is just present above the stomach part in segment 8 generally it will present and uh, this gizzard is generally responsible for the grinding of food means it will responsible for the grinding of the soil particles as well as it will responsible for the grinding of the leaves so here if you are talking about our uh, question so first uh, is incorrect statement that is septal nephridia and pharyngeal nephridia are exonephric they both are enteronephric second is diflosol helps in grinding the soil particle and decaying leaves so it is a function of the gizzard Tiflosol will increase the surface area. Third one is sensory system possesses light and touch receptor in earthworm. This is correct statement. And if you are talking about a fourth one, internal medial fold present in the dorsal wall of intestine. So uh, internal medial dorsal uh, wall will be present in the tiflosol. It is regarding correct about the tiflosol. So here our correct answer will be third option that is sensory system possesses light and touch receptor in the earthworm. I hope this answered your question. Thank you. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.